Hello YouTube, Marauders here and now the Lumia 950 XL has a very nice feature in uh, in Continuum which is that the ability to project your phone or an, to have an alternate desktop projected to the screen like an actual computer but of course there are times where you don't want to lug around the display dock and all its associated cables with you so it's great that the phone itself supports Miracast and you can actually use Continuum with Miracast. And what better way it is than to do wireless projections using our phone than to use a projector that's capable of being wireless as well. This is the Sony MPCR1 laser pocket projector and of course it has batteries and everything in it and so it's one small little projector and the most important thing in our test case here is that this thing supports Miracast natively so we will beam out the contents of our phone to this projector natively without the use of any additional dongles okay so now the projector is set up to connect set up in Miracast mode and I will now connect the phone to the projector Okay, so the projector is asking for confirmation that the device can connect to it and we will now connect to the projector and there we go there's the there's my desktop on the and I just got an SMS there's my desktop presented on the projector and this is using a totally wireless connection via Miracast so at first glance it, it looks okay we can see that we can see my desktop and everything just like when we are using a normal display dock and and of course I can control it using my Bluetooth keyboard which just happens to have a nice little track point here Okay, so at first glance, it seems that everything's okay. Uh, we can bring up the start menu. I can go to my browser. So I can bring up Edge. Okay, but then, then after we bring up Edge and stuff, and, and you start using it for a while, then you notice something. The first thing here is that there is when you're using Miracast, there's input lag. So while it's a bit hard to see on the, the camera here, so I'm going to zoom in a bit. Now if you notice the flickering, that's because of how the projector works. It's a, uh, it's a laser, so the flickering you're seeing is like essentially the scan lines of the projector. Now the problem here is that when you're using Miracast, there might be input lag so when you're moving the mouse the what will happen is that you will you see that even though you when you're moving the mouse if you move down notice that the mouse takes some time to the mouse pointer takes some time to respond so that's basically input lag and that's basically an artifact of the the uh, the the fact that we're using wireless to to broadcast a signal so when you're using wireless mirror cast there's always some lag and of course in this case the input lag is actually going to hamper us a little bit because as you can see I'll move I can I'll, what's going to happen is I will slide down let me move the mouse to somewhere visible on screen okay so I'm going to slide down and you can see that the mouse only responds after a while so the problem here is that when you're trying to move and position something it might take a while that you're going to like you have to like be very careful to try and click on something. Okay, so it takes some time. Okay, let's serve to the video. Click on it. Okay, I'm gonna drop the volume. You can see that the video and everything. Video and everything works fine. The problem is just that with the with the mirror cast the input lag will the input lag will hamper you using it fluidly and 
it sometimes depending on your ambient network conditions you actually see stutter in high moving high detail movement like watching a video and sound might be distorted and so on and so forth so those are all artifacts of what happens when you use mirror cast the other thing I like to point out here is and let me just pause this okay the other thing I like to point out here is that when I'm using mirror cast with this projector if we go into the display screen now remember that you actually have two ways of projecting the phone's content to the to the projector you can either extend your desktop which means that the projector is seeing another desktop or you can mirror the contents of your screen but the problem here is if I go to display settings here and I'm going to go to connected display so the problem here is that in the settings the option that allows you to select whether or not I get to duplicate the wireless duplicate the display of the screen to the projector or to extend the desktop that switch isn't here for some reason is it is this because of the a problem with Miracast itself does continuum not work as well with Miracast or maybe it's just a problem with the projector luckily I have yet another Miracast source that I can test so let's get to it so here I have the Microsoft wireless display adapter which is just a nice fancy name for Microsoft's Miracast display adapter and uh, we're gonna plug this into the projector and use the projector hook it up to the projector's HDMI source and then we will use we will connect to this dongle's uh, this wireless adapt display adapters Miracast client instead of uh, instead of using the projector's uh, Miracast client okay so now I've hooked up the projector to the Microsoft wireless display adapter so it needs the display adapter needs to be powered by the battery and uh, okay we are ready for the phone to connect to it and I'm going to switch on the connection and here we go I'm gonna connect to the my to the Microsoft wireless display adapter and boom something's happening with the the connection has failed now this is what I see when I when I'm swapping between wireless display adapters a lot there's sometimes you get this which is that you fail to establish a miracast connection so what you do is one way you can fix it is obviously you could restart your phone but of course before you do that is you can just what you can do is you go to settings and the other issue is that if you if the other issue I found out is that when you're doing a lot of wireless display data switching around you actually crash your settings apps so you could just uh, hold the back button and we're going to kill off the settings app and then we will bring it back in start it again now we will go to system and then we go to display and at the bottom of display one of the options available is try to fix wireless display connections so just click that it blinks and okay we're gonna try and connect again and okay so finally we got it working <laughs> like like I mentioned in my experience if you are just connecting and disconnecting from the same wireless display Miracast uh, client it doesn't seem to be an issue and if you're not swapping rapidly around different Miracast clients it also seems to be okay 
Okay, so anyway, now I'm connecting to the wi Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter instead of the Miracast client in the projector itself. And let's take a look at some stuff. Now, the first thing you realize is, let me just zoom in. Zoom into the picture. Let me bring up the... I'm bringing up Microsoft Edge again. So it still remembers the browser that I was using just now. Okay, now here's an interesting thing when I'm using the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter and the first thing that I notice is that now if I move, I'm going to move the mouse up, down, up, down. You can see that the performance, the lag, the lag, the input lag which was present when I was using the projector as a Miracast client, it's almost gone. It's very good. We are almost getting zero input lag. See, I, I, I know it's hard to see the mouse pointer and my finger in the same. So left, right, left, right. So I can actually make very small minute movements because there's no input lag. I don't have to worry about not being able to whether or not I'm actually moving the mouse or not. So this is great because this means that this this is almost a one to one one to one uh, input. One to one, uh, in, in no in, without any input lag, I'm getting one to one real time display speed. That's fantastic. That that that's why I say that the Microsoft uh, Wireless Display Adapter is pretty much one of the highest quality Miracast clients I've ever used. Now remember, I there was also the other problem with the when using the projector as a Miracast client, we couldn't do the screen mirroring. But again, when you're using the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter, I can go in and I can switch the display to. I'm gonna switch the display to the connector display. So you can see here is that I'm gonna switch to the connector display. And at the bottom, advanced settings has came out. So when I click on it, I can now choose to mirror what's on my device. And there you go. So screen mirroring works. And this again, this is a totally different experience than when we are using the projector as a Miracast client. Now does this mean that you have if you want to use the if you want to use Miracast, if you want to use the Lumia 950 XL to do Miracasting, you should you must get a Microsoft wireless display adapter? <clears throat> no, because I have actually tested out another Miracast dongle, which is the Action Beam, and that also works pretty well. It doesn't work as good as the Microsoft one, but uh, the the input lag is almost negligible. There are still some performance quality issues, but uh, I can turn on screen mirroring, and uh, and it still works better than. The Miracast client on the projector itself. What I want you to take away from this video is the fact that the not all all not all Miracast equipment is made equal. So if one of if you're getting very poor performance with one of your Miracast receivers or dongles, that might not be the case if you choose to use some other Miracast receiver dongle. The only other tip that I can give you when using Miracast is if your phone, while you can use Miracast without being connected to a local wireless, net, local wireless network, but if you do happen to be connected to one, 
you want to make sure that you have a good signal on that connection. For some reason, even though the mirror cast is supposed to be a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the phone and the wireless dongle, but if you are if you happen if your phone happens to be connected to a poor wireless signal, that actually impacts the mirror cast quality and signal signal performance. So re always remember that if you're gonna connect to a wireless signal for when you're doing mirror cast, always connect to a good wireless signal. Okay, and so that was my little video about mirror casting with your Lumia 950 XL. This is Marauders and I will see you all in the next video.